everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carter and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you. Guess what look it's going to be on. the first one I've done since I started making videos again so I'm really excited about it if you like this look if you like my channel definitely hit the subscribe button I would love to see your face around and I hope you enjoy the look okay so I've already primed my face with Too Faced Hangover RX and Benefits the Professional and I am taking a satin finish foundation all over my face to even out my skin tone then I'm moving on to contouring. What I'm going to do is take the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour sticks and contour the areas of my face, um, the perimeter, underneath the cheekbones to make them pop. And then wherever I put the contour, just inside that contour, I'm going to be adding my bronzer to warm up the face. Then I'm going to be blending that out with the Beauty Blender, which I'm in love with but also really like the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So when you're blending, if you get baby hairs, definitely move those because that will cause creasing in your base. So just a little, just a little hey, just a little let you know. Okay, then I'm going to um, move on to highlighting. I usually highlight before I contour. I don't know what was getting into me this day, but hey, everything worked out fine. So if you have under eye discoloration like me, you're going to want to color correct before you do this. This particular day while I was filming this, I could not find my color corrector. And the second that I stood up, it was literally sitting right in front of the table, um, right in front of me on the table. So I thought that was funny. But anyway, hitting all the high points of my face, the bridge of my nose, in between my brows, the center of my forehead, that usual area underneath the eyes around my nose and on my cupid's bow and also on my chin. I really like to even out the color of my face. I don't like when I leave any parts out. So that's why I'm doing that. Tapping out any potential creasing and um, applying translucent setting powder to keep my concealer in place. Then I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay's Eden and I'm using a fluffy brush to build up the color Genius. This is my first transition color. I have a lot of lid space, so I use two. You can do whatever you need for your eye. And then I'm going in with Wit, and this is going to be another transition color. I'm just placing it a little bit lower in my crease, not taking it as high on the brow bones to start building dimension in my crease. When you have finished with your transition color, I'm moving on to lids. I'm using Stila's Oasis, and I'm just packing that from inner to outer corner all over my lid and then smoothing it out. I really like this color. It's a nice light champagne gold, and it would look beautiful on all skin tones. You can skip this step if you want. I'm just using a matte bone color highlight in a broad area on my inner corner, corner to add a lot of natural highlight and brightness. Now I'm using Kat Von D's um, Summerfly eyeshadow to add shape and depth to my outer corner. I'm using a pencil brush so that I can really pack that on in a precise place. Um, I want really precise placement, so I'm packing it on with a smaller brush and then using a larger brush to blend it out. Um, I like to use two brushes, a clean brush that may have a little bit of the transition color on it, and I use that like more towards the top. And then I also use a fluffy brush with potentially a little bit more of the product that I'm blending out, um, but sometimes just, just clean. And go back between your eyes to, until you have the same shape and the same color saturation. Um, it is totally fine to move back and forth and that's going to have your look more symmetrical than if you just kind of stopped when you were done with one eye and moved on to the other. I'm taking a peachy coral shimmery color it's called Jezebel from Stila and I'm putting this kind of in between the gold and the brown, kind of just blending it in with the brown a little bit more. Um, so yeah, it's just going between those just to add a little bit of color and fun. And then I'm gonna touch up the color Oasis, the lid color to make sure it's nice, 
and popping and vibrant gold. And then using Stila's Kitten in a smaller area to highlight the inner corner than we did the matte bone color. So because I like super, super, super voluminous looking lashes, super flirty lashes, I always tight line. This is Urban Decay 24-7 liner pencil in zero. It's the black one and I'm just hitting my tight line. And then I'm using the same Urban Decay 24-7 in a brown color. This is Demolition. And I'm really concentrating on getting this on in the roots of my lower lashes. Um, I'm being super sloppy and generous and just getting it down there. And then using a shimmery mid-tone brown, this is Go, Go Lightly from Stila, to blend that from inner to outer corner. I don't really like the way that liner looks on me without like being touched. Some people it looks really great, but I like to blend it out. You can bring it down as far as you want, make it as smoky as you want. Um, some people really don't like to smoke out there lower lash line, but you can do whatever is fitting for your face. And then I'm using just, you know, a black liquid liner to add some definition to my upper lashes. <clears throat> if you want to, you can do a wing liner. That's totally up to you, of course. And I have a little bit more lid space on one eye than the other. So a little trick to help is to make your liner a little bit thicker on one side. That's really hard for people to notice, but it will even out the look of your lid space. So you can try that if you have that problem like me. Then I'm just going to hit the lashes, upper and lower lashes with mascara and move on to blush. This is Magic from Tarte and I'm hitting the apples of my cheek and blending it backward into my contour. This is Buxom's Centerfold and I'm patting it on because I hate lipstick. You can go all out and do whatever you want with the lips, but I just like a very sheer wash of color. And then it's time to highlight. I'm using Smashbox Shimmer Highlight, that's literally what it's called, on all of the high points of my face. I really like a dewy look. Um, and then just filling in the brow, brow, brow bone, the brows with a matte, taupey color and hitting the sparse areas. So that's it for the look, you guys. I really hope that you like it. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.